Hello and welcome to the video demonstration for our AMOS project. In this video, we will present our PyTest IDE plugin, which is called PIT Mutation Mate, and show you its functionalities. The goal of this project was to develop an IntelliJ plugin for PyTest, which is a popular mutation testing framework for Java and GVM based languages. Mutation testing is a way of testing your tests to test that they test what you think they test. Before this project, there were no existing viable IDE integrations for PyTest, which meant that the developer had to leave the IDE to check the mutation results, thus losing focus on developing software. Pit Mutation Mate aims to fix this inconvenience by seemingly integrating PyTest runs and result visualization into the IDE. Here is a diagram of the architecture of our plugin. The user interacts with the front end by invoking actions which define different scopes on which to run PyTest. These scopes are then forwarded to a run configuration, which will trigger a PyTest run. Once the run is done, the results will be parsed and sent back to the front-end visualization component. To install PET Mutation Mate in your IntelliJ IDE, first go to Settings, then Plugins, then Marketplace, and then search for PET Mutation Mate. Click the Install button, followed by Apply, and then OK. Once installed, this message will be displayed to remind you to add the following to your build.gradle file. Once this is added, the plugin will be usable. Next, you can open a Java or Kotlin file which you want to test. Here you can click on this gutter icon to start a PyTest run for the specific class. Once the run is done, results will be displayed in the sidebar as well as in the editor. In the editor, the gutter will be highlighted corresponding to the PyTest result. Hovering over the corresponding code will show more information about the test results. The annotations can be disabled and enabled through the context menu such that one does not get distracted while coding. Disabling the annotation is also possible by clicking the gutter highlight. PyTest runs can also be started through the context menu in the file tree. This is done both for single files and packages. The results can then be viewed in the side panel along with the summary and the results can also be viewed in the package breakdown.